In this video, I'll be giving a high-level explanation of what SSL bumping with Sauce Connect Proxy is and demonstrate a couple of use cases that a user might encounter when using Sauce Connect Proxy. You can find out more about SSL bumping on docs.saucelabs.com. First, we're going to take a look at what happens when you're in a web browser and you encounter a self-signed certificate. Your web browser is going to throw an error telling you that this is a self-signed certificate and it doesn't recognize it. What Sauce Connect Proxy does with SSL bumping is it re-signs the web traffic sent to the browsers on Sauce Labs VMs with its own trusted certificate. If we start up a Sauce Connect Proxy and then we check out the same website on one of Sauce Labs virtual machines, you'll see that the certificate has been signed by Sauce Labs and you'll no longer get the same error that you would with a self-signed certificate. Next, I'll start a tunnel without SSL bumping. We'll use the dash B all flag, and then we'll go in to the Sauce Labs cloud of virtual machines and start one up using the same tunnel. Notice that when you try to load the same website through the Sauce Connect tunnel without SSL bumping, you will get an error that would cause failures with an automated test run this way. This is because the browser doesn't have a recognized certificate without SSL bumping. There are certain situations in which you have to disable SSL bumping in order to test your web or mobile app. Oftentimes when you're testing on Android, you'll need to disable SSL bumping and add your own self-signed certificate into the app package code. Another common use case is when you're using WebSockets for network traffic instead of the typical single directional HTTPS protocol. In this example, I have started a Sauce Connect tunnel with SSL bumping disabled, and I'm going to do a live test against this WebSocket echo server example to demonstrate that WebSocket traffic can be used when SSL bumping is disabled. Notice that we can connect to the server and send a message. Now, I will start up a new Sauce Connect tunnel that does not have SSL bumping disabled and run the same test with the WebSocket echo server through this tunnel. Notice that when I try and connect to the same WebSocket echo server, I'm unable to use that connection because of the way Sauce Connect's SSL bumping modifies traffic. 